Hello friends, in this session we will discuss a little bit about uh, cross-section area and the current carrying capacity. Basically, admissible current as a function of nominal cross-section area of conductor. So what does it mean is that if, uh, as a thumb rule, if the conductor size or area, cross-section area or radius is increasing, the resistance of the conductor is decreasing, there will be less losses, there will be less heat effect and in that case there will be uh, uh, current capacity will increase so increase the cross section area the current current capacity which is called as ampacity will increase so what's ampacity ampacity is a uh, portmanteau for ampere capacity refined by National Electric Codes in some North American countries. Ampacity is defined as maximum current in ampere that a conductor can carry continuously under condition of use without exceeding its temperature rating. So, let us uh, discuss it on Smooth Pro. So for example if there is a conductor and the rating of conductor is 2 ampere and if the 2 ampere is flowing through it the temperature uh, for example ampere temperature here is 30 degree if the uh, conductor is already 30 degrees centigrade and the maximum allowable temperature here is for example 50 degrees centigrade then when the radiant current is flowing the temperature will of conductor will start increasing and it will remain below 50 degrees centigrade so this is the meaning of continuous current and uh, uh, of 2 ampere mean if it's increased more than uh, 50 then the conductor is deteriorated somehow so this is basically the concept of uh, um, uh, current carrying capacity and the area. If the area is increasing, the capacity is also increasing. So the area of the cable can be measured in different uh, units. It could be measured in millimeters, centimeters. Uh, a very famous measurement method is AWG and uh, this is called the American wire gauge and in this one you can see the American wire gauge 4 has more cross-section area as compared to 10 and 10 has more cross-section area as compared to 14 so as number is increasing the cross-section area is decreasing and it means that uh, if you get a higher AWG number the cable size will be small and it will carry a small current. Here is example uh, in front of you. It's a cable size uh, in AWG six. Uh, I have started here with six. Uh, so here you can see six is equivalent to thirty point three m millimeter square, and uh, and this is an international standard equivalent size in standard. In uh, international standard size 10 mm. So internationally, uh, the cable which is available uh, is 10 mm, and whereas the 6 AWG is equivalent to 13.3. So then we have 5 AWG which is equal to 16.8 mm square, and this is the size of cable which is internationally available. So cable in mm is available in 10, 16, 25, 25, 35, 50. 50, 70. So these are basically the available cables. So this is just an example. Uh, another thing is uh, cross-sectional area. So you can calculate the area by the formula, which is A is equal to pi r square, where r is the radius. So for example, if the radius is 0 0.1019 inches. And divided by 2 this is basically the diameter into square so the area is coming as 0.0811155 square inches so here is another example uh, here you can see uh, if 
uh, wire gauge is increasing here you can see the diameter is uh, decreasing so AWG 0 is with ohm of uh, resistivity of uh, 0.1 ohms per feet so here you can see if and, and the diameter is 8.251 and the capacity uh, which is called as ampacity is 125 amperes so you can see if the AWG American wire gauge is in number is increasing the resistivity or the resistance per uh, feet uh, of the uh, of the cable resistance per feet is decreasing is increasing so it means that the thumb rule is if the resistance of any uh, cable is less then it can carry more current and if any conductor if you want to reduce the resistance you have to increase the diameter here you can see 8.251 and if the diameter is increased the current capacity was called as amplicity will increase so this this is a relation that you can see here so this is basically the concept for cross-section area and here I can show you a table uh, which is showing copper and equivalent aluminum conductor cable current ratings here you can see size of cable and this is nominal area and total number of cores uh, two cores in a cable, three or four cores in a cable. Then we can see ampere, uh, approximate ampere meters per volt drops. So when a manufacturer is providing a cable, it's also providing a basically table in which you can see the voltage drop approximately per volt voltage drop uh, and how much will be the short circuit rating and all this information uh, is provided by a manufacturer. So this is a uh, little introduction about cross-section area and how it is major uh, in, in the real world. Thank you very much.